I've been trying out a lot of new products the last few weeks, so today I thought I'd share what I've been using with you guys and my thoughts about it so far. One of the newest products in my routine is the RMS Beauty Champagne Rosé Luminizer. This is a very dewy, almost iridescent highlighter that you're either going to love or hate because it's very sticky. It looks and feels like a gloss on the skin, and I love it because I think that looks really natural because you're getting a highlighting effect because of the glossy consistency rather than like a shimmery or a glittery powder with other highlighters. I have drier skin, so the glossy look doesn't bother me too much. And I just tap this like on my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow. And it comes in a few different shades. So if you come across it in store, definitely take a swipe of it and see what you think. The next product I've been trying out is the L'Occitane Shea Body Shower Oil, which has been amazing for my dry skin. And L'Occitane is a sponsor I've been working with recently because their Refer a Friend program is back where you can sign up and receive this box of goodies completely free. In the box, you get three products. You get the Shea Body Shower Oil, which I just showed. You get the Immortel Precious Cream, and you also get a fairly good sized chunk of their extra gentle soap. And this Shea Body Shower Oil is so nice. It's like a cleansing oil for the body. So out of the bottle, it feels like an oil. And then when it gets wet, it emulsifies. It makes my skin feel so soft. And what I love about it is it rinses off clean. And really these three products are a good little head to toe moisturizing trio. So I'll have a link down in the description. If you sign up and you visit a L'Occitane store, you can get this no purchase necessary, entirely free, or you can get it with a purchase online. Moving on, spring is here, which means my self tanning game is starting to ramp up and I've been trying a new product from Saint Tropez. This is the bronzing water mousse. And as you can see, this is a clear bronzing mousse, meaning it doesn't have that like bronzer guideline in it where you can see where it's going. It has a tropical scent and it also has entirely natural DHA ingredients in it. Saint Tropez does self tanning so well. I have tried so many different self tanners and I always come back to this brand. And I was excited about this product because it doesn't have that bronze like initial color to it. Because as much as I love the original Saint Tropez bronzing mousse, I feel like I can never wear it out before I've rinsed it off. Because as soon as you put it on, you have that really dark color from the bronzing guideline in it. But then as the day goes on, your actual tan develops underneath that bronzing color. And then I just start to look a little bit crazy. Where with this, I can apply it. It doesn't have that crazy bronzer to it. It doesn't have a really strong scent and I can just wear it out for the day and my tan kind of naturally develops throughout the day, but it doesn't look weird at any point. I will say though, this isn't quite as dark as the original bronzing mousse, if that's something that's really important to you. It is a little bit lighter. It's definitely still darker than like a gradual tan everyday lotion or something. It just doesn't come out quite as deep as the original bronzing mousse. Next, I've been trying out a couple of products from a new brand or a brand that's new to me, and that is Ilia. From what I've gathered, this is a natural beauty brand. And the first product I've been trying is the multi-stick in the shade, I Put a Spell on You. This is such a beautiful orangey color and I swatched it in store and immediately was like, this is going to be my blush of spring and summer 2018. I'm wearing it today. I just wore paint this on my cheeks and blend it in and it is so beautiful. And I love that it's just this little stick because it's so compact. It'll be easy to travel with. It blends nicely with my fingers. And then the other product I've been trying from, I think it's pronounced Ilia. I guess I don't know how it's pronounced, but that's how I've been saying it. This is something kind of different. This is their cucumber water stick. This is a toner in stick form. I've never seen this before and it has depuffing ingredients like cucumber so you can like smear it all over your skin and hopefully look a little more refreshed. And this really is interesting. It feels like water when you put it on your skin, which I don't know how it feels so cold and watery straight off of the stick, but it's incredible. Just a nice little addition to my regimen that makes my skin feel more awake. Also in my skin prepping regimen, I've added the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. You've probably heard about this because it was especially popular I feel like everyone was talking about it like six months ago. I finally decided to try this after hearing so many rave reviews and it's great. The color of it, like this kind of light nudie pink tone, it just instantly brightens my skin. My makeup applies really nicely on top of it. And also I just love 
the packaging of this brand. I think they nailed it when it came to the packaging. This is a really heavy glass bottle and I love the color, kind of the accent plastic cap to it. I just think it's very classy and pretty. And last but not least, I've been using a new lip gloss. This is from Urban Decay and I got it in my PO box. So I think it's a brand new gloss line. It's the Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in the shade Snitch. This gloss is supposed to have hi-fi shine as it says right here and it is very, very shiny. And I just thought this color was perfect to add a little bit of brightness to my face going into spring and summer because I've been craving just a little bit of color. So those are some new products I've been trying. I will have all of these listed and linked down in the description if you want to check them out. If you've been trying out anything new recently, let me know what it is down in a comment below. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope it's sunny where you are. It's actually sunny here in Seattle and it's making me so excited for summer and I will see you guys next time.